Hey, what's up, guys? Sonic so I'm here, guys. The finale of our playthrough of Sonic 3 on Tino GameCube as a part of the Sonic Mega Collection. So, in the last year, did Ice Cap Zone. So, here we are now at the final stage of Sonic 3, which is Launch Base Zone. And I thought I answered should well enough. Dang, I guess they should take advantage of the invincibility frames, why not? So I decided to move uh, the, the GameCube games up earlier in the rotation so that way we can just go ahead and get them out of the way, you know? Like, that'd be easier. Right, what, what do you think? I, I, I like it, you know? If you guys don't like it, I'll change it back. But don't really expect to get a response out of that, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to be leaving it. I get paranoid because I don't know where the heck those things are that come down and crush you. No! Well, then I take my anger out on you. I think that's a fair trade off. Oh dang, how in the world did we actually kill him? Holy crap, I did I manage to actually run into that under the, at the perfect time. Usually that's the one that gets me because I don't remember where it is, so it usually kills me. Thank goodness, not this time. Hey, I can't get back here. So here's the Valiant Return of Knuckles. I haven't seen him since Carnival Night Zone when he shut out the power. And now he nukes his building. Get a few just cheap shots on Eggman, even though we're not actually fighting him. Dang it! The shield did not work. Dang it! Okay, I wait. I just know I just need one ring to live. All we need. Just jump over it intentionally, and there we go. That is it for Act One of the Launch Base Zone. Dang it, Tails, he took a ride without me, my guy. So anyways, on to the final stage of the game. Launch Base Zone Act 2. This is the final level of this game. Of course, as with like every other stage besides Marvel Garden Zone, it has to have water in it.
It's my goal specifically not to hit him, but... I missed! Wait, hold on. Let's hit the spring again. Well, there we go. That's not too bad, I don't think. I hope. Like, there's, just like, there's just a random. There's, usually, there, I thought in one of the versions of the game, I don't know whether it was this version or this one, Sonic, the Sonic Classic Collection on the DS. Or if it was this. Sonic, you were too slow, my guy. Yeah, I get to bypass the whole underwater section. Awesome. I don't really like that part. Plus, the stage has like no air bubbles, I don't think. So. That's one of three bosses. And, uh, okay, Tails. That was pretty cool. The last time we see Tails is he just basically walks on air off the screen. And you see Knuckles just get totally wrecked. We have 23 rings to work with here. We don't get any rings, so we have to protect all of them. As the Death Egg is beginning to relaunch, Sonic, we gotta hurry, my guy. <laughs> this is the second boss. The watch has got a little orb up there protecting him. Just have to hit him again. They still gotta hit Eggman. 
himself in the cockpit one more time for the last regular boss. Where Eggman says, you think you've beaten me, Sonic? I have one last trick up my sleeve. And it is Big Arms, the true final boss of Sonic 3. This won't be like times in the past when I first got to this boss and I absolutely could not beat it because I could never be able to keep that one freaking ring. And the weird thing is, the first time I beat this game, I beat him with I beat it with Tails out of all characters. Like Tails, how'd you get past Marvel Garden? It's a great question. Don't ask because I don't know how I did it either. But I did it somehow. Just don't let him grab you. That's the important thing. Is do not let Eggman grab you. And, you know, if, if you're feeling kind of gutsy, you can try to insta-shield and you can actually hit him here. Not kidding. If you can insta-shield perfectly, you can actually hit him. Or spin dash. I really don't feel like trying to risk that. I feel like that'd be one of the lucky moments where you're 23 rings, but I won't collect a single one in trying to regather them. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, at 6 hits, you're gonna hit him 8 times, as every usual Sonic boss is about. Okay, I think one more hit ought to do the trick. Oh no! I completely botched the jump. Well, you know what? We're down to three rings. You know what? Frick it. Let's go for the... Let's try it. Yes! Got it. Perfect. That's a great way to end off this game. There goes the egg, I'm going to see uh, the death egg falling down to Angel, back to Angel Island, crash landing somewhere in Lava Reef Zone. Sonic jumps at us. And there we go guys, that is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And here are the credits.
Boys over there teasing. No more teasing from the two of you. You guys lost. So you're going to go ahead and call it a game. Let's go ahead and just back us back to the menu. And that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this Let's Play. So thank you all for watching it. If you managed to take it this far. And if you just watch this video, you should like, button, and subscribe. My trailer helps out. And you basically all know what the next game is right after this one. So I will see you all in Sonic and Knuckles. Peace out, guys.